Welcome to the weird and the wonderful. That's what you're about to see on this episode of Deep Blue Discovery. The strangest things caught on camera by divers and scientists all over the world. We'll visit the shallows, delve under ice caps, and dive to the deepest, darkest reaches of the ocean. Yeah, well, this is very interesting. All in the name of keeping you entertained. Oh, 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 wow. <laughs> this is Deep Blue Discovery. In the ocean's midnight zone, sunlight is an unknown entity. But in the artificial glow of a submersible's headlamps, sometimes we see fireworks. Looks like a firework. This is a Halitrophes jellyfish, spotted by an ocean exploration truss crew off the coast of Baja California, more than 1,200 meters down. This creature is translucent, and were it not for the Nautilus submarine ROV Hercules lights, it would have been completely invisible to the watching scientists. Instead, the crew were treated to an explosion of colour to rival any firework display on dry land. No wonder these deep sea strangers are known on the internet as firework jellyfish. The deep ocean appears surreal and as alien as outer space, but the seafloor is home to some weird and wonderful creatures and the food chain links everything together as it does nearer the surface. The Davidson Seamount off the California coast and researchers have stumbled across this fascinating but creepy site. This it is, is still crazy. soft tissue. Yeah. There's a, there is. Oh, this is so cool. Like this is the the is four, five, zero meters. A horde of hungry octopuses, fish, and other deep dwellers feasting on a rorqual carcass. The deceased whale was estimated to be four to five meters in length. Its skeletal remains a final gift to the colorless creatures of the deep blue. The whale's death allows other creatures to thrive and survive. Here, also off the coast of California, marine scientists hit the sea life jackpot. Oh, oh wow. Look at that. As many as 1,000 octopuses, mainly brooding mothers, gathered together in the deep, an incredibly rare thing to catch on camera. Mus octopus robustus are thought to be solitary creatures, only congregating to lay and protect their eggs. At the time, this was only the second gathering of its kind, witnessed and recorded by human beings. One of the most famous deep sea octopus species is the Dumbo, and these guys definitely suit the weird and wonderful criteria of this episode. Oh, yay, yeah, big fella. Oh, cool. so color. Cute. These rarely seen creatures don't tend to head into the shallows at all, so it's not common to catch them on camera. Named after the Disney elephant Dumbo, these animals are used to freezing water and the complete absence of sunlight. Unlike many other octopuses, they don't have ink sacs. Because they live in the real depths of the ocean, they rarely encounter predators, so there's no need for countermeasures. With their ghost-like appearance, it's easy to see why people are so excited when they see these things up close. 
Wow. Oh, there we go. Oh my That's gosh, so she's nice. posing. That this is so great. Yeah, nice. you can show off. Deep beneath the northern hemisphere's icebergs, an awesome marine ecosystem exists, and it features some of the strangest creatures known to man. In the bitterly cold North Atlantic Ocean, a rare Greenland shark swims into shot. These are truly remarkable animals. They have the longest lifespan of all vertebrate species. Some are believed to live as long as half a millennium. They're also one of the largest species of shark, they're the apex predator of the deep, and nothing side for humans hunts them. Interestingly, their flesh is actually toxic. If consumed untreated, it brings on the effects of extreme drunkenness. It's really rare to catch these ancient giants on camera. What an experience it must have been for scientists Bryn Devine and Laura Wheeland. Less giant but just as effective as a Greenland shark, a hungry benthic fish has laid a trap for sea snails and quill worms, but it's about to get a bigger meal than it bargained for. Uh -oh. Oh. 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 Wow. <laughs> this excellent example of predatory prowess happened 500 meters down, actually in the twilight zone of the sea, a darker world than ours. When the dust settles, hunters like this tend to take their catch back into their burrows. That's exactly what happened to this unfortunate blue midwater fish. To the uninitiated, there are some seriously strange creatures in the deep blue. Take this armored sea robin, a fish that walks on its very skinny front feet. It gets its name from the plates that run along its back, giving it an armored appearance and making it look kind of like a prawn. This is the only method of movement it has, as it picks its way over the rocky floor in search of food. Walking fish are relatively common. This frogfish off the coast of Indonesia, for example, almost looks like a throwback to our seaborne ancestors. But there are far creepier things in the sea than this. Underwater videographer Jace Green caught this critter on camera also off the coast of Indonesia. Because of its unusual appearance and its carnivorous appetite, the animal's been compared to the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. In actual fact, it's believed to be a rare deep ocean dwelling form of sea slug. Its proper name, Melibe viridis. The weird and wonderful aren't confined to the deep alone. Beneath the ice of Tasilak in Greenland, there's an underwater world that almost seems like it belongs to another dimension. To catch these stunning images on camera, we rely on photographers like Tobias Friedrich and brave freedivers like Anna von Botica. While the minus 27 degree water seems beautiful but barren of life, it is in fact full of awe-inspiring creatures. Life here is unique. From transparent arctic jellyfish to skeleton shrimp and white nudibranch, the icy ecosystem under Tasilak is full of colour and unlike anything you'll see elsewhere in the world. Nearer the surface, in the cold waters off the coast of Norway, divers are about to encounter something I've never seen before, and the chances are you haven't either. This is a ten-armed squid's giant egg sac, full of its young and floating about 17 metres down. The orb was discovered by divers from the research expedition vessel team, 
on their way back from exploring a World War II wreck. It's extremely rare to see something like this. They're usually found in the deep ocean and also dissipate after a few days. The gel inside the orb is perhaps the most interesting thing about this though. It's thought to protect the eggs and baby squid from bacteria and infection. When scientists have attempted to grow squid in labs without the gel, they've been plagued by disease. Only a handful of egg sacs like this have ever been recorded by humans in the wild. Sometimes baby creatures look very different from their parents. These baby eels were filmed rising from the sand off the Maldives. They are thought to be hundreds of them, all around 40 centimetres in length, and they're certainly weird and wonderful. But sometimes it takes a fully grown giant to really catch our attention. You're about to have one of those what on earth is that moments. It might look like a massive plastic bag, but this is in fact a 10 metre long pyrosome, spotted by divers off the coast of New Zealand. They live in warm seas and are actually made up of hundreds of thousands of tiny creatures. They're very closely related to sea salps, who also gather together in large numbers to form what look like single organisms. This group was caught on camera by a professional diver off the coast of Indonesia. These creatures are planktonic, which means they largely rely on ocean currents to carry them around. But when they gather together, they can produce at least some propulsion, meaning they can kind of control their movement. And finally, it would be wrong to cover the ocean's weird and wonderful without mentioning the blanket octopus. This was spotted off the coast of Romblon in the Philippines, and I think we can all agree it's stunning. The rapid colour change is thought to be a reaction to the different light levels from the camera, but may also be a defence mechanism against would-be predators. Either way, enjoy. Thanks for watching Deep Blue Discovery. If you enjoyed this video, please, please subscribe. We'll be back next week to showcase more incredible creatures.